Is it your view that Mr Slipper has been proved innocent of the allegations levelled against him in the documents filed in the federal court? Well, pretty clearly in terms of uh, the only allegations of uh, alleged criminal behaviour was the allegation that he'd handed over blank cab charges. Now, very clearly from the documents provided by the Department of Finance and Administration and released by Mr Slipper, they are in his handwriting and uh, quite clearly uh, the allegation that he'd handed over blank cab charges to hire car drivers for them to uh, fill in, I guess, as, as they wish, has been proven to be not correct. Are the cab charge dockets released the only ones being looked at either by the Defa Department of Finance or being assessed by the Federal Police? Well, that's a, a question for the Department of Finance and uh, for the Federal Police. But there were three specific dates uh, raised uh, in the documents that were filed in the court by Mr Ashby. Mr Ashby made very clear allegations in that. Uh, these uh, cab charge documents uh, go to, there's 13 of them that have been released by Mr Slipper. They were provided by the Department of Finance. They go beyond just the dates in question there for the entire period where Mr Ashby has raised questions. There is one date uh, outstanding. Uh, that's because it hasn't been received yet by the Department of Finance and Administration and therefore uh, isn't available uh, at this time to be released. That, well, can you say with any certainty that, that, Mr, that the allegations have been refuted while the matter is st still being assessed by the Federal Police? Well, what you can say is the facts, Lyndall. Uh, the facts are there are allegations made that there were blank uh, cab charges handed over. Uh, the fact is, and it's been released and people can see for themselves, uh, that they are in Mr Slipper's handwriting. Could there be other questions raised about whether the, the, uh, his travel is in accordance with the rules as prescribed by the, the Department of Finance, the dockets, some of which are sequential, although they are a, in a sequence, a different sequence of transaction order. In sequential order, they go from the airport to the suburbs, suburbs to the airport, suburbs to the suburbs. In transaction order, they go from the suburbs to the airport, suburbs to the suburbs and airport to the suburbs. They all appear to be on the same day, are there not possibly other questions about whether he has met the rules as laid down by the Department of Finance? Well, look, uh, some people may choose to raise question after question, even though answers have been uh, provided. But what we need to remember here is there was a very specific allegation, Lyndall, a very specific allegation by Mr Ashby. Uh, the evidence that's there for all to see suggests that that allegation is false. What we do need to know and the questions that do need to be asked are the ones that were raised in the financial review today, where it's reported that coalition members knew of allegations against Mr Slipper, including uh, that some uh, allegations involved uh, Mr Ashby uh, some time uh, before the allegations were actually raised and reported in the Daily Telegraph. Now, Mr Abbott's been very careful with the words that he has used. He's spoken about not having specific knowledge of the details. What we need to know is, what did Mr Abbott know? Did, if coalition members uh, knew, did they advise him or his office uh, that uh, these allegations were were coming. Can Mr Slipper return to the Speaker's chair if he chooses to do so the next time Parliament sits? Oh look, Mr Slipper uh, is, has been elected as the Speaker. Uh, he can't be uh, removed by uh, any individual. It's not a position that is uh, controlled uh, by the government or appointed by the government or the Prime Minister. So it's up to uh, Mr Slipper uh, whether he uh, takes the chair or not. But, but your, to... your side of politics has said he should stand aside while the criminal allegations are resolved. In your mind, are those criminal allegations resolved? Well, it's up to uh, Mr Slipper to determine in terms of where he's at. Uh, he will make, he, he indicated last night in his statement that he would uh, make a further statement 
uh, later uh, on. Uh, it's clear that there are, there's the, the one date that hasn't been raised, hasn't been uh, available in terms of the documentation. Uh, people would might want to see uh, that particular uh, date and documentation, but one would think that given that uh, there are 13 cab charges uh, that have been uh, released and they're all in his handwriting, uh, certainly what we do know is that uh, up to uh, up to this point, uh, the evidence is uh, is pretty clear that two, blank cab charges were not handed over. Two of the independents, Andrew Wilkie and Tony Windsor, agree with the coalition that Mr Slipper should stay out of the Speaker's chair until the civil allegations of sexual harassment are resolved, as well as the criminal allegations. If a motion is moved before the Parliament when it next sits in the next week uh, to have Mr Slipper stand aside for longer or move a no-confidence motion in him, Will you try to defeat it and do you have the numbers to do so? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Lyndall. Uh, Mr Slipper has, uh, has uh, stood aside while the criminal uh, matters are, are being dealt with. He hasn't indicated uh, yet whether he uh, will take the chair or not. There have been views expressed by uh, some members about, uh, about those issues, but let's just wait and see uh, what decisions uh, the Speaker makes and then, uh, and then respond rather than try to second guess. Uh, one of the things that, that uh, I learned from experience during the Godwin Gretsch affair is that when these sorts of issues are raised, when you have issues raised about rumours around Parliament House, and you know, Lyndall, that there's lots of rumours uh, flow around Parliament House. I don't know whether uh, they're true or not. There's a lot of gossip. It's that kind of place. What we shouldn't do is uh, take a view that uh, those views uh, are by being put by someone in terms of gossip, uh, automatically correct and, and act on them. That's my view uh, very strongly. Uh, so, so we don't know, we don't know uh, where this will, will end and conclude. What we do know is that on the basis of the evidence that's been produced so far and found from the Department of Finance and Administration, certainly the allegations that were made by Mr Ashby with regard to the blank uh, cab charge dockets have proven to be incorrect. If Mr Slipper is not back in the chair any time soon because of the changes in the parliamentary numbers, because Labor would have to supply the acting speaker, could you face problems getting your budget through the parliament? No, I'm very confident that we'll get our budget through. We, of course, have a formal agreement with uh, a number of the, the crossbench and uh, that uh, situation, I think, will lead us to be confident that our budget will be passed and that supply will be granted. But Mr Wilkie has ripped up the agreement with, with the government. Could you, could you have issues with gaining Mr Wilkie's vote for your budget? Well, I, I certainly had uh, discussions with, uh, with Mr Wilkie. I don't, uh, as is my policy, uh, go into the details of those discussions, but certainly uh, Mr Wilkie has uh, indicated that he's very much inclined uh, to support uh, budget bills and to support supply being granted because he understands uh, what the consequences are in terms of uh, supply not being given to a government.